Hi everybody, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and in this video we're going to be looking at the art of nooking. Now some of you may have heard of nooking before or some of you, especially if you're a beginner, may have never heard of this before. But what we've got here is what looks like a normal crochet hook, a normal six millimeter crochet hook. But in fact, there's something a little bit different about this hook and it's got a hole at the end, which looks like a needle hole, like on a sewing needle. And this is actually called a nook. And you can buy these on my website at happyberry.co.uk forward slash marketplace, new marketplace. I'm starting to sell a few little craft tools I like to use in my videos, especially things like the pom-pom makers and things like that. So you can pick these up on my website. But what these are for are for creating a kind of knitting effect um, through Tunisian crochet um, that looks like knitting. So what we're going to take, we're going to use some, I've got some yarn here. This is actually a DK like worsted weight yarn. It's a little bit thinner actually for this hook, um, but I've done it for demonstration purposes. And you're also going to need a length of a different coloured yarn. So I've just got a length of brown yarn here. And you can also use cord or string or anything else you want. And what we're going to do is we're going to thread this little length of yarn through the eye of the needle at the end. So I'm going to try and do this on camera. Push that through. So there we go. It's going to thread that through as if we were going to sew something. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our yarn and I'll show you how to do some nooking. Okay, so first thing to do is just some normal chains. So I'm going to do a little slip knot to begin. And this just acts like a normal crochet hook to begin with. I'm just going to do some normal chains. I'm going to do 10 chains just for this sample. So chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Okay, so I've just chained ten nice normal crochet chains. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook into our second chain from our hooks. So we don't count the loop on our hook as our first as our second. Put our hook into there. And we're going to bring the yarn through. Um, but we're going to keep it on our hook as if we were doing Tunisian crochet. And if you're new to, to Tunisian crochet, you've never heard of that before, I'll put some links in the description below to some Tunisian crochet tutorials on how to create various stitches with that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next chain, yarn over, bring the yarn through, and we're going to keep that on our hook as well. And we're going to do that all the way across as if we were doing some Tunisian crochet. going to each chain, yarning over and bringing it through and keeping it on our nook. This is called a nook. Basically a needle hook becomes a nook. Okay, so into the last chain, bring the yarn through. Okay, so with, if we were doing Tunisian crochet, we would now do a reverse row and go back to the beginning, so we end up with one loop again. But with nooking, what we're going to do, because we've threaded on this yarn here, we are going to push that through our stitches. So they feed through and then they sit, my little stitches, our loops, sit on our piece of yarn here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work. So we're going to turn our work over, like so. Okay, and I'm just going to bring that through a little bit more, just so I've got something to work with. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put our hook through the loop there. We're going to bring up the yarn we're working with from the bottom. We're going to yarn over and we're going to bring that through. Got our tail end out the way yarn over and bring that through the loop. Okay, and we're going in from right to left. So our hook's going in from the right hand side to the left, yarn over, bring that through. And do that all the way across, so it's really simple. Making sure we've still got 10 
loops on our hook. to the end. So how many have we got? Two, four, six, eight. Into the next one and the last one. Yarn over, bring that through. Okay, so we've got ten loops on our hook there. And what we do now is we're going to gently just pull this thread through. My camera wants to focus today pull that through until the end comes out but we're still threaded on the end here and what we're going to do is we're just going to thread that through again so we just bring that through straight away and thread those loops that we've just made onto our piece of yarn again then we turn our work okay and our yarn still threaded on let's bring that through slightly and we do the same thing again. Put our hook through from right to left, bring up our yarn we're working with, yarn over, bring that through the loop and do that all the way across. Same thing again. And eventually if you repeat this over and over again you'll get what looks like a knitted purl stitch that will be the same on both sides, so it'll be reversible. Just going from right to left, yarn over, bring it through the loop. And this is called nooking. There we go. And once you get to the end again, first thing to do is release the thread you pulled through last time, the yarn you pulled, so bring that through gently. Leaving that threaded on there, we then feed that through so that those stitches are now held on the yarn. And then we turn over and do the same thing again, make sure that's still threaded on. Do the same thing again, so we go right to left and yarn over bring that through. It doesn't matter where your brown thread is so don't worry about that because that just gets pulled out so it doesn't matter whereabouts that is. As long as it doesn't get entangled so you need to, so you can pull it out. And just keep repeating that over and over again. You can start to see what looks like the purl stitch appearing both sides. So I shall do a few rows of this and then you can see what it looks like and uh, hopefully you'll give it a try. Okay, so there we go. I've worked a few more rows and you can really start to see the uh, what looks like the pearl stitch that you get in knitting and it's exactly the same both sides. So it's completely reversible. So there we go. That's how to nook and that's how to create a knitting effect uh, in crochet. Um, yeah, so what you could do as well, you could add different colours. So I'm going to feed this through Another one more time, a few more times. So we go with a different colour. So this time, when I put my hook through, instead of yarning up with the, uh, the blue, let's bring up the a different colour. So I've got 
another yarn here, another colour. And I'm going to yarn over with that instead. Bring that through instead and work that into my project. And let's see what this does. <laughs> so you can experiment with your nooking. And also you can experiment with working into the stitch differently. Whereas with the purl stitch here, I'm working in from right to left. But if you went in the opposite direction, you should get the uh, knit stitch, what looks like the knit stitch. So you can have a good experiment with different techniques and see what effects that you get. Let's see what happens when we add a new colour, shall we? So I've added a new colour. Let's bring my thread through and then thread this on. Let's thread these loops through and then turn our work. So I'll blues this end and I'll pink this end. So we'll carry on working with the pink. And just the same thing again, bring up the loop, find our pink yarn, bring that through. And that's how you change colour in nooking to add different rows and different colours. So hopefully you'll have an experiment. Like I said, you can pick up these nooking needles or nooking hooks on our website at happybow.co.uk and we've got three different sizes uh, these are actually by knit pro so these are from natural wood and like this one here we sell the six millimeter size ones by knit pro and we've also got a five millimeter size one and we've also got the four millimeter one as well slightly small symphony natural wood you can pick these up on our website. So let's keep going with our pink and just see what it looks like. Because if you're anything like me, I, once I've learnt the basics of uh, crochet, I'm always looking for the next fix of what I can play with, what I can try. You can have so much fun with different techniques. And there we go, so we just pull that through. Then hook that, these loops on, turn our work. And there we go, we've got a little row of pink stitches and there we go we can either swap back to the blue or you could carry on with the pink so there we go that's a little introduction to a nooking nooking the pearl stitch that's reversible and uh, hopefully you'll give it a go obviously my fabric looks quite stretchy and lacy because I've used a quite a thin yarn a DK weight yarn with a big hook ideally you'd probably use a four millimeter with a DK yarn would go really well um, but yeah, I hope it's inspired you to try something new and I'll show you some of the other products that we now sell on my website, some of my favourite stuff that I like to use. A lot of you have asked where can you pick up the clover pom-pom makers that I show in one of my other videos. So you can also get these on our website by Clover, my favourite maker of all time. <laughs> and they're not even um, paying me or giving these to me free or anything like that to promote them. The Clover are genuinely one of my favourite makes, Japanese make. Um, but we sell these clover pom-pom makers we, this is the large set when you actually get two which is super awesome and they make 65 millimeter and 85 millimeter pom-poms 
Uh, if you want to learn how to make these, there's a video on my website. Um, I'll also put the link to the YouTube video. We've also got um, various other crochet hooks. I also sell these, which you may see in all my videos, these Clover Soft Touch hooks. If you ever wonder where to get these, you can now get them on my website because I love these. And uh, so many of you have asked where can you buy them. So what better than being able to buy them direct from me? And also these were absolutely gorgeous. We sell these as well. These stalk embroidery scissors by Class are absolutely beautiful. So, so pretty. So if you like embroidery or just want to pick up a really nice pair of uh, scissors, then we sell these as well. We sell loads of other products as well. These, I had to get these in as well, for my daughter especially. These really cool little fish scissors. So we sell these as well. But anyway, that's uh, beside the point. I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs>